What's up everybody, Grand Hustler 32 here. Today I'm going to show you how to hide stock apps on your iOS device without jailbreaking. This is definitely helpful for the people that have the iPhone 5, um, but if you, uh, you know, have an older device and you don't want to jailbreak it, you can still do this as well. Um, it's very simple and it's uh, very easy. You just have to go to a website. And that website is ragehack.no-ip.org uh, the link will be in the description and yeah once you go there you can hide apps without jailbreaking click on that and then you can just scroll down I mean if you want to read this this just tells you what it does but if you just want to scroll down this is where you can hide everything well stock apps anyway hide newsstand hide reminders notes calendar uh, iOS 5 only, iPhone only, iPod and iPad only, iPad only, iOS 6 only, games, etc. and etc. There's all kinds of stuff that you can hide. Now I'm just going to show you an example. Um, I'm going to hide one of the stock apps. Uh, iTunes right there. It's right in my folder. If I go back into Chrome, find hide iTunes. You click install. It's going to do its thing. When this comes up, you just click done. Go into the folder there, hide iTunes. Now you just hold down till the wiggles come up and you can click the X. And then you hit delete. And it's gone. Just like that. No more iTunes. It's not hiding on another page. It's not there at all. Now with this, it's basically just hiding the icon. It is not actually deleting the app. Um, so when you reboot your device, it will actually come back and it will be on your new page or wherever. So yeah, it's just basically hiding it until you reboot. So I mean, if you don't reboot a lot, it's fine. If you do reboot, you just have to keep doing that and you can just, you know, bookmark this page right on your uh, device and uh, just keep doing it. But I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, and it's uh, not that big of a pain to, you know, keep rebooting. I mean, not to reboot. I mean, if you have to reboot, you know, it's easy. But yeah, I'll just show you what, uh, what it does when you do reboot. So once your device has rebooted, you will see it comes back up. But again, you know, it's just hiding it, and it only comes back if you reboot your device. But it's an easy way to hide your stock applications that you do not want to see. And uh, obviously this is on iOS 6. This does work on uh, iOS 5.1.1. I'm going to assume it works on uh, older firmwares than that, but I will show you right now that it does work on 5.1.1. So I've got my 4S here. Obviously I'm on 5.1.1. You can see iTunes is right there, so let's go into Safari, hide apps without jailbreaking, which I'll just give a direct link to this so you don't have to click on that, but I'll give a direct link. Scroll down until I find hide iTunes, install, waiting. iTunes hide, click done, delete. And it's gone, just like that. So this works on that firmware. I'm not sure about the older ones, but you can try it. And uh, so yeah, just reboot your device to get the app back. And there you go. That's how you hide stock iOS applications on your iOS device. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Subscribe to me if you're not, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.